going on y'all welcome back to the channel so mr coyote here so today i just want to talk about a known car but it's the last model year of it i'm talking about the ford edge today we're going to be taking a look at the st model this is it i'll do a walk around and show you guys the interior of this uh ford edge st all right guys so right from the get go stone blue metallic ford edge st seven speed uh transmission Go and check her out. So this is the last model year of the Ford Edge. Um, got the ST badge. One thing I like about these cars is that you got the ST badge also on the key fob, like I was showing you earlier. Um, I kind of wish they would do the Ford Mustang keys like this, with this back plate like that, and then they would have the horse logo, or at least it could say GT on the Ford Mustang GTs, like on my GT. But you just got this horse logo on the Mustangs, which kind of don't like, but. Let's go ahead and show you guys some of these, some of the features on this car. Not a lot is different. Um, I think I like, one thing I really like is the fog light. The lights are kind of connected. Um, show you guys the wheels. Got the lights on the mirror. Can't really see the window sticker, but it's about 48 grand for a loaded car. Actually, this car does not have any options. It just has, the only thing it has is a 23 model year stone blue metallic with another $495. Uh, let's see. You got the four floor liners, spare tires, 100 bucks. The mats were two, another 200 bucks. So, the only options. $795. The base MSRP was about $46,485. But other than that, comes with B&O and all that stuff. These are our options. ST all wheel drive, five passenger, two seven V6 EcoBoost, seven speed automatic transmission. If it was a dual clutch, that'd be, that'd be sick. Stone blue with the uh, ebony leather trim, sweet performance seats. So, this car, this is how much the MPG is. I don't know, this car does not have gas or tax. I'm sure you guys don't care about the emissions, but. I don't know, um, if you ever get an ST model, Explorer, or Edge, uh, just keep in mind you have the Ford Performance ST SUV experience. But yeah. And this car's made in, in Canada. Assembled in Canada. So the wheels all around look like this. No hubcaps on it because it's not prepped. I like the back of it, but I don't like the fake exhaust. That's uh, but it's all good though. It's got a it's got a hitch on it. You tow to tow with this ST if you wanted to. I like how aggressive this looks. ST badge. All right, y'all. So, the diffuser. I like this. This looks nice. I kind of feel like Ford could have put more effort into this car, but oh well. I mean, they're killing it off after after 2023, so. You, just, you gotta hit that button to open it and close it. All right, y'all. I like the side skirts. Side skirts on this are a big yeah. Big yes. I like I like the uh, the line right there. I like that. So the ST line is basically the same as this. It just it doesn't have, I think, the engine. 
is different. And I think the wheels. And then ST line also has the badging right about here. It would say ST line. And it wouldn't say ST over there. I like how aggressive the front diffuser is. The front canards right here. If not, just kind of molded in, but looks good. All right, y'all, so that's the exterior. Let's go and take a look inside this car. Like the uh, nice leather right here. Bang and Olsen. Well, I like the steering wheel, but I... It would be nice if it had the flat bottom. I like how it says ST right there. I love how it says ST right here. I wish on the Mustangs, especially the GTs, instead of it saying Recaro, especially on the Recaros, I wish it said uh, GT instead of Recaro. Kind of like how the GT500 has a snake right here. Kind of wish it was like that on the, on the Mustangs, but never know. You got the big tablet now. It's been like this since 2021, I believe. But the Alcantara seats. Looking nice. So one thing about the Ford Edge is that it actually does not have any drive modes. The only drive mode you have is literally just putting in drive and hit it, hitting the uh, on the dial. You gotta hit S to go in sport mode. That's all you got. You don't even have any anything in the in the uh, on the actual screen. Doesn't have an option where you can go snow and wet mode, eco mode, none of that. You literally don't have any driving modes. I think that's why they kind of killed off the edge. It's because it doesn't, it's kind of, it's kind of outdated, I guess you could say that. But, um, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about the Ford Edge. Do you guys think, is it worth the $48,000? Would you buy a Ford Edge or lease one? Would you keep one? What would you do, in your opinion? Would you rather go get a Ford Explorer, which has drive modes and other available features or would you just opt out of the st in general comment down below let me know what you guys think okay, so i'm gonna hop in so you got the screen right here open the glove box hit that button right here you would have your wheel locking or supplemental owner's guide in there I really wish this was a flat bottom. I mean, it feels good. Don't don't get me wrong. The heated steering wheel feels good, but still, like, they cut it down a bit better. Made it stand out, you know? ST line has the same steering wheel, but it does not say ST on it. All right, y'all. Parking brake right here. The most hated button is right here. Everyone hates this button, but it's the auto on and off. Screen guys, the rear seats, it's all covered up, but the back seats feel good too. They're comfortable, even on the non-ST models. The non-ST models, the rear seats are actually very comfortable. Uh, it's all leather. Luckily, the ST comes with power seats. The normal cars in the front don't have power seats, but you also got the, got the Alcantara right here, leather. These cars are great. Uh, daily driving, daily use. I think it's a perfect car. In my opinion, what do I think about the ST? Or what do I think about the 4G? Uh, I said 4GT. Ford Edge. Ford Edges are great cars. I think, I mean, as long as you get the right price for the car. I think it's a great car. It's an automobile car. I don't know about reliability. I have no idea. You might have to do your research on the forums. So unfortunately, this car does not have a remote start. But you can open the trunk by yourself. Set the alarm, lock it, and unlock it. That's all you can do. No remote start. That's a big uh, zonk, as, as uh, Rady Riot says. But kind of wish that I had that. If you're paying forty-eight thousand dollars for a car like this, uh, should come with remote start standard, especially if it's a ST. All right, y'all. We're ending the video. Drop a like, subscribe. Uh, if you guys want to see something else, see any other specific cars. Comment down below, let me know, or DM me on Instagram. Any recommendation, any questions, any Mustang-related stuff, let me know.
um i do have an update coming out for you guys so i'll um that video will be coming soon so all right y'all again thanks for watching drop a like subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next video peace